My name is Gwen. I live in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I live with my wonderful husband. In 2020, my great nephew was graduating high school and leaving for West Point Military Academy. We all flew in to New York. The next morning, I was coughing really badly and there was blood in the tissue. And then Monday, I went to urgent care. And the doctor saw me, they did an x-ray, and he said, you know, you have really bad pneumonia, the bottom of your lung is collapsed, and you have a lot of fluid. As I was pulling my car out of the parking lot, the phone rang, and it was the doctor calling from inside urgent care, and he said, you need to come back inside. So I went back inside and I knew this wasn't gonna be good. And he said, we see something behind the pneumonia. We're pretty sure it's a tumor. My blood ran cold. And I just kept thinking of Bert, Lauren, John and Chris and saying, oh my gosh, they're gonna grow up without a mother like I did. My parents, my mother was not at my wedding Neither one of my parents saw me have my beautiful children. And I thought, here we go again. That's what went through my mind. And I started to pray. I went to see the oncologist. He said, I am gonna do a genetic test. We'll know exactly what kind of tumor you have. And he said, it's not stage three, it's stage four you carry the KRAS mutation, G12C. He said only 13% of lung cancer patients have this mutation. You have to be your own advocate. You need to say, I want my biomarkers done. I want genetic testing, because it's so important. You have the tools and genetic testing, I'd say is number one and I'm so excited. Now I'm planning a baby shower. I'm grateful that I'm getting to see all this. Now here I am fighting stage four lung cancer. I'm, I'm a fighter and everybody who's diagnosed with cancer needs to be a fighter, a warrior. I have cancer, cancer does not have me.